It's an extension of me, an extension of my family. Um, and even though for me, England is in many ways home, uh, so is India. So I guess the internet is to me as well, as well as quite a negative space in many ways. The internet is a beautiful place for community and connection. Um, and especially if you have people all across the world, like in Germany, for example. The connection that you have with uh, another being or an idea or a concept, a project, uh, those can all bring the emotions that spirituality can bring out of you and the need to feel uh, at one with yourself and a connection with others. And I think technology helps that process because being able to be a spiritual person doesn't mean just looking within yourself and being on your own. It means the kind of connections and the kind of work that you're able to create with other people, um, the kind of uh, conversations you can have with other people and the way that you can spread lessons learnt. And technology is a massive part of that. I wanted to talk about body hair. I wanted to talk about uh, plastic surgery, which in some ways removes parts of your identity because I had a nose job um, about 13 years ago. And I had a very kind of a uh, hooked North Indian Punjabi nose. And there was a whole conversation around there about whether any part of my ethnicity was removed because of it. And so I wanted to create a space where I could talk about those things and other people could then also uh, bring in their thoughts, their lived experiences without someone coming along and wanting them to over explain everything. I started working a lot with the queer community as well and creating those kind of bonds because I felt like there was a lack of representation there for South Asian queers. Burton Ruddy was the reason that I came out and I came out in an article in Burton Ruddy that I wrote. Um, so it's progress for me and it's progress for other people around us as well. <laughs> I see women of colour, queer people, just creating, creating beautiful work. And every time I see something like that, it gives me like energy. I think it's really important and inspiring to see other people put in the hard work. And that's what really gets me going. The whole thing is curated by me. And so um, it tends to be just the lessons I've learned, the people I listen to, um, and again, it comes from the community and I think commercialized things don't come or tend not to come from the community that we want to reach out to. I get a lot of self-fulfillment from just being able to create off the bat, just being able to put something up with my tone of voice, with my understanding and then what I've learned as well, bringing in other people's voices. My mental health got really bad, and so my creative process pretty much disappeared. I can very much tell that there's a there's a big pause in what I've created. And also, I'm not blaming myself about that. It's very evident that we are in a situation that isn't regular, it isn't normal. There's no expectations. No one has any real idea of what to do or how to do it, and it's fine. Uh, but what it has done is it's rebuilt a relationship with technology. Now having to curate things digitally and rebuilding that relationship with technology to have that trust where you believe that you can have those kind of connections over a screen um, is quite an interesting process and it's something that I'm going through at the moment. And so Ben Rudy will be having more online events uh, because we do realize that everything that we create is important and it does need to go across to other people. It's just coming to terms with having to do it differently now. I love cooking, you know, I love cooking uh, a lot of North Indian dishes um, that my mum used to make and so I, I do that a lot and I need to balance out whether you become a stereotype or whether you, I guess, manage those kind of expectations as well within yourself. I, I didn't learn how to cook when I was younger. Um, I taught myself as I got older because I had to uh, take care of myself. So it's that kind of like stereotype of people assuming that I, I, as a woman and an Indian woman, would have had to learn how to cook. And, and that's the reason behind the name of my magazine as well, Burnt Ruddy. It's kind of more of a statement than anything because I didn't want to be someone's bride. I didn't want to have a husband. 
to let people out there know that there are like artists, writers, filmmakers, directors, producers, uh, curators. There's thousands of uh, creative people that are South Asian that are doing amazing work. Um, but you never hear about, you never really see. The hope is that in the future there are more South Asian people that are out there invisible. visible.